it is great to speak with you. I am just like so sorry we got to speak under these circumstances with the coronavirus going on and everybody as we speak is basically on lockdown. How are things going with you and your family? Thanks for asking, Rudy. Yeah, it would have been awesome to see one another in person and, you know, high five and hug and all that. But those are definitely off the table right now. <laughs> um, thanks for asking. We're, we're hanging in there. You know, Josh and, and Ben are next door actually working on Josh's schoolwork right now because uh, we're homeschooling like the majority of people across the country. And so it's busy, to say the least. But everybody is, is doing their part to uh, kind of stay on top of the things that matter and to keep everything in perspective because this is the new normal, whatever that means, um, at least for the next stretch or until this thing is under control. And, and I think we need to be gracious with ourselves because uh, we've, we've had to adjust quickly and, and, uh, and yet, you know, it is a big adjustment for, for all of us. Absolutely. I hear exactly what you're saying. I know for myself, I'm going like before we started this interview, I'm actually trying to do a lot of purging right now myself. I figure if it's going to be another month. I might as well start getting things cleared out that I don't need. So once this thing's over, I've got a great fresh start. Are you doing any purging yourself too? Yeah, you know, I haven't yet, but that has been top of mind. So right now it's what we call tyranny of the urgent, where for me as an artist, having just released an album, I have a list of things that I want to accomplish daily. You know, so number one is my son, his basic needs need to be met. He needs to be schooled. Um, but then, you know, in the cracks, I'm continuing to push the record and, and try and come up with creative ways to reach people with the music. But then, as you just said, you know, I also have these fantasies of like cleaning out the garage <laughs> for the first time or, you know, finally getting rid of the, you know, stacks and stacks of CDs that I've held on to for so long for sentimental value. But really, you know, there's so many other ways now to access music. Um, that might be one thing that I can uh, box up. Although, you know, we have to be very careful about how we get rid of items, don't we? Because uh, we want to we wanna make sure that everything is sanitized and, and uh, you know, doesn't cause risks for anybody out there handling these items potentially, you know, so it's it's interesting. It's a unique unique time even in that sense. Very, very true on that. Look, I want to say congratulations on the on the album. Before we talk about the album, I want to talk about something else. Um because really the last time we saw each other was when you were winning a Juno Award and congratulations yes! on that. Thanks, how did Rudy. you how did you feel when you found out that the Junos had to be canceled? Well like, for myself, I was literally on the plane, landed in Saskatoon, yeah. heard it was canceled, got back on another plane and flew back. I mean, you know what the great experience is like to be able to go through the nomination, uh, waiting, winning, the red carpets, and then hearing about them having to cancel, which was the proper thing to do, the disappointment for all the nominees, who, especially first-time nominees going through it. That has been on my heart so much. Um, you know, I... I got the call not to get on the plane um, on Thursday. So unlike you, I hadn't yet traveled to Saskatoon. And then, you know, hours later, we, we all found out that the, the whole event had been canceled. And because I'm a host of CBC Music, you know, we had to repackage what we were doing that weekend for listeners. And I just kept thinking, you know, I kept thinking, gosh, when when are we going to find out? And like I don't think anyone knows yet who has won and and like you said, all those nominees who whether they win or not, you know, get to be part of a really special moment in time. You know, I think we all have when you're nominated and you're there. It, it's just a great honor. I, I know it's a cliche thing to say, but it is an honor just to be nominated and. And, and you get to punctuate that moment with a celebration where you're together with your fellow nominees and people within the industry. And it's a big moment. And so I have really felt sad on behalf of those nominees that they didn't get to experience that, and especially those who were nominated for the first time. But I also know that, you know, nobody would doubt the wisdom of that move. And while it was kind of shocking at the time, you have to congratulate Terrace and, and CBC Music and everyone behind the Juno Awards for making that tough call to protect Canadians. Absolutely, and I keep thinking about it too. 
because the the travel ban was literally just coming up towards would have yep. been the Saturday and Sunday. So I literally would have been stuck in Saskatoon. I would have had to have probably driven back home. So, no, I think they made okay. the great, great decision. But as we're going through all of this tough time, you've released some great music for us. Congratulations on this. What's the new album and what's it about? Oh, thanks, Rudy. The album is called Out of Dust. And, you know, without wanting to be overly opportunist um, or opportunistic, you know, I one of the reasons I chose to release it, even when we, we all saw that this was going to be a very different sort of release with three months of global tour dates canceled and, you know, very little media um, because, you know, everybody switched over to COVID-19 24-7 and, and you couldn't, you know, media outlets of all kinds are shuttering their doors. Um, so I thought, okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to release this anyway because... I think the messages in this album um, have become even more real and have the potential to meet, to reach people in a more meaningful way. I hope, you know, that's, that's my prayer really is that music that was meant to kind of mine the depths of a great variety of human experiences, many of them tough, but ultimately land in a place of light and hope you know, that that music would would, um, would be cathartic to people and would be healing to them, you know, or if nothing else, that it would bring them joy or that it would be a source of beauty in their, in their life and in their world right now. Are these originals? Are these standards? What are we looking at here? Uh, all original songs, with the exception of one, a Greg, Gregory Porter cover called Take Me to the Alley, which I played at my friend's memorial, and the album is dedicated to her memory, so it felt right to put that one on there. What was your headspace at when you were uh, writing the music, and did you write all the music yourself? Is it collaborations? How did this all come about? It, mostly I wrote it on my own. Um, there's a co-write, a French song, Opie de Cocagne, which was co-written with a great Quebecois singer-songwriter, Sonia Johnson. Um, but that was actually co-written long before this album. It just, I never released it, and, and I felt like it had a place on this project. But then, you know, I can't underestimate how much my husband and co-producer, Ben Whitman, is always a part of the process. And in fact, he contributed a song to the album called Glass House that's also very personal. Um, he wrote it in response to um, the loss of his cousin, uh, Kitty, and the album is also dedicated to her memory. And then there's a song, another song on there co-written with our son, Josh, who at the time was eight. Now he's nine. And that song is called Take the Day Off. And it's funny, it, it sort of feels like it's a song that's really of the moment as we're all hunkering down in our homes. We were We were all together one Saturday morning you know, enjoying just being in the same space because I travel so much typically as a musician. So we're all in the space, just kind of enjoying one another. And Josh picks up a mallet and starts playing my husband's uh, log drum or tongue drum, it's called. It's this beautiful African instrument that has this very soothing sound, very warm, woody sound. And he just was kind of cycling around the instrument and playing this motif that was so beautiful and felt very meditative. And that turned into a song, um, you know, Take the Day Off, which <laughs> while I think we're all very busy still in some, in one way or another, we're also being forced to be home, which for many people is akin to taking the day off versus going into work, you know, as we usually would. Absolutely. Um, no idea, of course, when you're going to be going back to work touring, but are you doing any uh, live streaming shows? I am. I am. So... On our release day, on Friday, March 27, we did three live events, um, which, you know, we're, we're all figuring out the technology, and I know we're not alone. So they were imperfect, but I think they still served a function. But now we're trying to really kind of hone in on how to do that in a way that, on the one hand, is personal and kind of homespun, like a lot of the videos people are seeing out there that are live streaming, but also have a little more polish. So... Um, we, I'm thrilled to share for the first time with somebody uh, publicly, we have been offered a Canada Perform spot, which is part of the National Arts Center and Facebook Canada initiative, um, where they're supporting artists who have had 
scads of tour dates canceled. So we're going to be doing an official live stream. We're just looking at dates, so I'll be able to announce that soon. Um, and then also looking to partner with Urgent. Um, they're in Toronto. Um, initially, they were going into empty venues, but as the rules uh, around social distancing change and become a little more strict, they're also having to revamp how they do that, but we will be partnering with them as well. So I think there'll be one live stream that's like really a live stream and the other will be live to tape, but it'll roll out you know, at a, at a an appointed time as though it's a live stream. So people who are watching will be experiencing that for the first time together. And for folks listening on uh, Rudy Blair Entertainment Media, I will be doing an interview uh, very soon about that so people can know, know more about the urgent and what's going on with that too so they can check out what you're doing there also. But in the meantime, though, social media is the place to find you. Where do we go to look for you right now? Best place is my website, um, lilabiali.com, L-A-I-L-A-B-I-A-L-I.com. Google will correct you if you if you can't figure out how to spell it because there's so many A's and I's. <laughs> but I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm not yet on 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 TikTok, you know, or Snapchat or any of those kind of, you know, the apps that somebody maybe closer in age to my son would be on. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm in all these places. YouTube is um, a place where you can find me as well. I'm uploading content to, to, to my YouTube channel on a fairly regular basis. So, yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, no, and I uh, Snapchat, TikTok, I can't, I, vote, I can't handle all of them. I can only deal with so many. So I'm me with too. you on that one. So, look, <laughs> you be safe. Uh, big hug to your family, too. And hopefully I will get a chance to see you at some point in 2020. When all of this is over and we can hug and sit down and chat and talk yeah. about new music and tours and everything else that we're all looking forward to doing. Yes, indeed. And just, you know, a message to you and everyone listening, stay home, stay safe, stay well, you know, do what you need to do to keep your your sanity and your, your spirit intact, um, sending you lots of love, you know, from across the divide. And, and thanks for listening. Fantastic. Big love to you. Take care. And we'll talk to Thanks, Rudy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come on down when you hear that sound. Come on down. There's a fire under.